Hi, today we're going to take a look at this. This is the MIGO Splat. This is a very light, small, compact, and as you can see, flexible tabletop tripod. Now, this is very similar to what you can find in something like the Gorilla Pod, but the idea here is that you have very, very flat legs. So you can play with them and still have a very compact system. So let's take a look at what it can actually do. So let's take a closer look at the Migo Splat. As you can see, you can bend the legs more or less any way you like them to. In this example, we put the legs in such a way that they have a lot of contact area with the surface that they're on. So this is very sturdy in terms of uh, stability that you can get from it. The tripod itself has very few characteristics apart from the legs. The legs are some sort of a silicon surface uh, with metal inside them, at least this is what the specs are telling us. You have the MIGO logo here. Here you have the option to put this on a screw. So for example, you can uh, hang your uh, camera from a wall. Now, I'm not sure that I would do this with a heavy DSLR, but maybe with a GoPro or a small camera, which is very light, uh, you can do that. So this is one thing. On the middle, you have a, a quarter inch 20 screw. So you can either connect something directly to here. You have uh, the screw with this uh, uh, knob, which uh, allows you to turn it very easily, or something that we have shown to you before. We have used this uh, Manfrotto uh, knockoff, if you like, uh, quick release to actually attach things more quickly to this. So if we take our old camera, we just have to make sure that the plate is aligned and voila, you have the camera on this and this is very, very sturdy. This is not going to move anywhere basically. So this is, this is very nice uh, combination. Now, uh, officially this uh, tripod is capable of uh, carrying up to 1.2 kilogram of uh, camera gear. Now we've tested this, and as you can see in this example, you can put a two point kilogram weight on it, and basically it holds very nicely. And we even tried it with a five kilogram weight, or two weights actually, and it worked perfectly. So uh, this is very, very strong. Now, one thing to remember, it really depends on the way that you play with the legs. So uh, for example, if you're putting a camera which is uh, very front heavy, uh, it might tip forward. So it really depends on how you al align the legs. If you put the front leg uh, like this, uh, it's, uh, there is a greater chance that even a front heavy lens will hold. But uh, for example, if you put it something like this, it will tip forward. So this is something that uh, you have to keep in mind. Now, another thing that you can do with this, because it's so flexible, is basically attach it to anywhere. So you can put it on a tree, on a pole, maybe on a light stand, if you have a light uh, camera on top of it. So you can use it basically anywhere. We really like the idea that uh, it's very, very flexible. And another thing that you can do is basically uh, take the sides and uh, put them on the camera itself. So uh, you can squeeze it in and then put it in a bag very, very easily. This is a nice touch and basically the, the biggest advantage of this over something like a Gorilla Pod, for example, which has much heavier and uh, thicker legs. So this is uh, basically everything that we have to say about this uh, tripod. Very nice, very easy to use. And as we will see in a second, not very expensive. We want to conclude the review of the Migo Splat. We really like this small light uh, tabletop tripod. It's very easy to use, it's flexible, it can carry quite a bit of weight and it can attach basically to anything. The splat can also wrap itself around the camera, making it very compact and easy to carry around, which is a feature that other tabletop tripods don't have. Now in terms of pricing, this unit, the DSLR version, costs about $25. There are also two other units which cost even less. As always, you can read the full review on lensvid.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.